name is Nalini. I am working as data process analyst. Nalini lives in Yamingnur with her husband, their two daughters and her mother-in-law. During her childhood, Nalini's family faced dire financial circumstances and could barely make ends meet. This left her desire to complete her education unfulfilled. Nalini always dreamt of becoming an educator so she could empower other girls, create better futures for themselves. Poor family wali, chadu kolanna dabbulu earning problem. Andukane inter work kona saginchi degree disconnected. Nenu teacher avval anukunnanu kani adi kudarledu ippudu kani TTC cheddam anukunnanu kani kudarledu. Nalini heard about Indi village from her friends. Her visible potential and commitment to learn and better herself made her the right fit for Indi Village. Her newfound financial independence after this job enabled her to complete her unfinished degree. Today, she works with a 20-member team and often trains other employees in the workplace. She married her husband two years after she started working. Nalini's parents strongly opposed their alliance and ceased to support her in any way after her marriage. Helping her new family financially became an added burden for her. Nalini is the only educated member in her new family. Her husband is a tailor and runs a small shop. Earning a minimum and regular income is crucial to them in order to afford basic medical expenses and education for their children. Nalini does not want her children to face the same hardships that she experienced as a child. Through consistent hard work and planning over the years, they have become financially stronger and are building their own concrete house. This in itself is a very big achievement for Nalini. Unfortunately, Nalini's community members do not see value in education and the need for formal employment for women. Even today, several people in Yabignur believe that the rightful place for women is in the domestic sphere. Nalini often faces criticism from neighbours who condemn her choice to work. They believe that her primary role is to nurture her family and cater to her husband. While her husband is supportive of her choice to stand on her own feet, Nalini continues to battle normative judgments by some of the local community. For Nalini, education is every woman's birthright. It is essential that women prioritize their education as this is a huge safety net for them. Education enables women to be self-sufficient without having to rely on anyone or anything. <laughs> చదువుకున్నంత స్థాయికి తెచ్చినా అనుకో వాళ్ళకి పేరెంట్స్ కూడా అవసరం ఉండదు